That's it. That's it. That's the podcast. That's what we call a podcast. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? Do you, do you, Jeremy? No, I'm good. What's up? Do you do an intro, then I start talking? We play a song! You can do whatever you want. And you're back at Quarators, home of the fact. Uh, it's season three, a new beginning. I'm Alex, and this is Jeremy. Yeah, what's up, dog? What's up, dog? I've noticed I've been doing this a lot, like as my default dance when the song keeps going. I'll do uh-huh. like Terminator Two knife hands. Sure. And it's I I would be afraid to do it in an open floor setting. Yeah, I mean we did our live show and you tied yourself out. Yeah, I really went well. We've discussed this in a nauseum, <laughs> but I thought I was kind of starting something. <laughs> no one joined didn't, you. I didn't get off the ground the way I. We don't have to talk about that anyway. We got a great guest this week. <laughs> oh boy, you're you're gonna love her all the way from New York City, the Big Apple City <laughs> of Lights. We have comedian Megan Bitchel. Well, Megan, hello, <laughs> <laughs> hello. Yeah, all the way from 20 minutes away from here. Thank you for coming. Yeah. No, yeah. Thank you for having me. It's the Big Apple. The Big I'm going to bite it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> so, if the way you're speaking about this apple, you probably have visited quora.com. Is that is that the case? I have. I used it in high school. I hate that you have to make an account to ask something. Mm. Yeah. Um, cuz there's a lot nothing that you should ask on there. Everything you ask should be very shameful. Because you're asking a stupid question, I think. So I think there should be an anonymous setting. Do you have a? Do you have like a pseudonym? Um, do Megan you have an Mitchell account? Is the pseudonym? Oh, you <laughs> get, you gotta get a, a better name one. Name is, no. You gotta get a better one than that. Because <laughs> um, in high school, um, uh, I'm from Texas, so there's no sex ed, and I um, I dry humped with my boyfriend. And he preed in his under. He pre cummed. Uh-huh. I say pre. This um, is a lot of story, right? Here. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I uh-huh. thought about this because I was like, Cora, whenever I use this, um, it, and I was googly, and I was like, should I take a plan B? Because he. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I was gonna ask, and then it was like, can sperm be aerosolized? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, Do I need to leave the state? <laughs> but, no. And then I bought a plan B anyways. Um, sure. I mean, you I never know when you need it. Yeah. <laughs> I've me. been told. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. Uh, well, we've kind of cut into the core of what we do here. We're mostly just going to go on Quora and read you questions we found. But uh, before we get into that, in a desperate ploy to get new listeners, we've started mm. doing one of YouTube's most popular segments, which is, of course, Tips for Men. Tips for Men! This is, we give, we give tips to men. Mm-hmm. Trying to get those views. Yeah. yeah. Um... Yeah, so I, I thought of one, but uh, do you have anything you'd like to advise men? You to don't do? have to, but, but you don't if, have. But to. if you have them, we're so happy. They're you're so here. desperate. I'm trying to let's see. Um, you know, open the door. Open the door. That's a hot one. No one yeah, ever said that. There you people. Go. Yeah, for people, for Hell strangers. Yeah. I love to do. This. Oh, I think they should shave their chests. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they should it's really. It's one of these is very different than. The other. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary when a guy just has a full, sure, all chest hair. I think it's scary when there's half chest hair, because then oh, you got to pick half. a side. That's tr- well, like, is it half on top? Yeah. What are you or? talking about? Um, so like, it, I don't know if you're hairy in like one section of your chest, okay. I feel like then it's like, cause like a lot of hair, then it's like, oh, we get it. You're like a kitty or whatever. But, um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> that but then if there's just like a little bit, it's like, yeah, you got a spot there. Actually. Okay. Here's my, yeah. okay. If it's curly, you can keep it. If okay. it's straight, get rid of it. Oh, okay. That has to rhyme. There's we gotta figure out why to rhyme keep for it that. Straight, shave it. Okay. That's the pneumatic device now. I have been. <laughs> this is hard for me because since last week I've been banned from rapping on the show. Uh, oh, sure. Reading our user feedback. So who knows what rhymes with that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know. Um, what was your tip for men? I was just gonna say you gotta dominate. <laughs> And that's what we got this week. All right, great. Um, Tips now, for men. Now, uh, Megan, every week for season three, we've been doing an exciting new theme to kind of guide the hand of our Quoras. And looking at the doc, we had a lot of 
magical stuff backed up, like a lot of sorcery-based questions. And so this week we are performing a theme that is the dark arts. We also um, we have to read our question from last also, week. Also, we're going to read the question from last <laughs> week. <laughs> At the end of every episode, we ask a question on quarter and we read it. Last week... We're still figuring out how to do <laughs> oh, <yeah>. layering. <laughs> so, tips for men really threw a wrench in the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> tips for men? We're not a fucking podcast. It's really tough. <laughs> Um, last week we asked, can you own either a fox or Venom in New York City? We don't, we try to talk not that much about the character Venom on this podcast, right, but we were this bullied week we're into not gonna it. Right, we're not going to do it. So much lore this fucking week. Um, anyway, I don't know. We didn't get any answers. No. I think it, I think it would feel good to have Venom on you. <laughs> As the monster? That, oh, you kind of a freak. I think that would a feel little, good. I bet it would feel <laughs> kind of nice. I bet it feels like, like, uh, slime. Do you think it's sure. hot? Like like physically hot, hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet it has sun. to be like room temperature. I'm just thinking, like in terms of like uh, the kinetic energy Venom displays, th- we're doing it again. Uh, <laughs> this happens every fucking week. <laughs> that he kind of reminds me of like when you got something in a pan. But that aside from that, back to the question, <laughs> like the structure of the question. If we just had asked, like I wanted to do, can you own a fox in New York City? I think sure. we would have had a lot of engagement. Yeah. But then ham fisting Venom in because of Britannic. Because I, of our esteemed guest who we love, sketch comedy duo. Uh, someone. Does say does say you cannot own venomous snakes or fox in New York City? Oh, so we did get that. Okay. Can't be true. I feel like a lot of freaky gals got venomous snakes. Well, maybe the they're DL. non-venomous. Oh, like they take the venom out. Yeah, oh, or like a, a lot of snakes just don't have it. <laughs> or it could just oh, is a rattlesnake secret. venomous? A rattlesnake certainly is venomous. Okay, Do you wait, know I someone? Venomous versus poisonous. Um, oh, so sure. I guess you can take the no, you can take the rattle out of the rattlesnake. I don't know if you can take the venom out of it. Um, the rattle is there to warn you <laughs> about yeah, the, the venom. The not the venom. Part. <laughs> the rattle's good. <laughs> You've actually just created, like, dangerous, more dangerous rattlesnakes. You've They're modded- evolving, actually. What? Rattlesnakes are evolving to really? not no. rattle anymore. Yes, this is a big thing in Texas right oh, now. Oh, no! <laughs> Mario! <laughs> <laughs> I love sounds. Uh, we all love sounds. <laughs> but, um, yeah, in Texas that right now, they're evolving uh, to not rattle because they get killed really? if they rattle. Oh. oh, by men? By people, yeah. Because if you see them, they're just walking they're just around. Like they're just like slithering around. <laughs> <laughs> you get killed. But. That's a... Sn- that, I don't like that. <laughs> no. I mean, you don't I, like that they're getting killed or that they're getting rid of the rattle? I mean, what you have to do in self-defense is um, your prerogative. And as a snake, I totally understand if you need not to rattle. It's crazy <laughs> evolution can move so fast, Jeremy. It is, yeah. That's Isn't cool. it the speed at which we've forced God's hand? <laughs> um, oh, also important information. If you're going to answer one of our quarters from last week, you must use the code word scrambled, scrambled eggs. eggs. And this will mean we know you're one of our guys and not one of those fuckers on there. Uh, yeah, and then that's it. That's the last week from Quora. Can I ask a question about Quora? Please. Is there, is there clout? Oh, yeah. Quora? There's clout. So there's the so com- much. Okay, so there's a community? or like I gotta yeah. get it. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's like a few Quora celebs, and a few of them have broken out into yeah. the real world. Wow. And the one that we always cite is Mr. Jordan Peterson. Is really? a Quora original. I did not know he that. Found, he, he started on Quora. When they make a movie that's like Peterson Origins, it's yeah. going to be very Quora heavy. You guys yeah. got to get on the HBO Quora doc. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I really <laughs> want to. Uh, this They'd also, hate us. This is also a perfect time to use our new sound. You got this, Quora. <laughs> Which is Jeff Bridges saying you got this quarrel from Tron Legacy. <laughs> Thank you to Ace for sending that in. Yeah. Uh, all right. Should we get into it? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any other questions about Quora? Because we know too much about it. Um, you don't no, have I to. think that I just like the. It's <laughs> cool that there's so many communities that you just have no idea about, and they yeah. just because I feel like Quora is what like kind of. It, you know how now when you Google a question, you have to put Reddit behind it to yes. get a real answer, and now that doesn't even work. I feel like Quora was supposed to be that. Mm. Yeah, but then there's just crazy people yeah. on there, so it doesn't even work anymore. Due to poor design, it's um, taken over a bit. It's very that, ugly. It's a very ugly website. Yeah. It's a very. It's been very <laughs> cruel to me. Um, uh, the way that I've been explaining it to like Twitter people we have on as guests, you're on Twitter, but do you think that's like your main social media use? Yeah, yeah. Because you, you're on all of them now. Yeah, so, like it's mostly Twitter and TikTok. I've that. tried to force myself into in, into Instagram, but it's my my uh, life force just really doesn't like. They can tell I'm not happy to. Be there anyway. Uh, anyway, the way I explain Quora to like the, the Twitter guests we have on is like, 
It's like if uh, you were on the internet in like 2014. Okay. Like they haven't yeah. got a lot of the stuff that you already know about or talk about, like culture war stuff. So you're going to get a lot of like, uh, is it okay to put porn on Tumblr style debates? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's like the Wild West a little bit. Still. Yeah. It's, I think it's the most fun one to use. That's interesting because I was on Tumblr in 2012. That was like where I started on the internet. And mm-hmm. that was always crazy land. Kind Is of. it mostly pictures of Kirby on there? <laughs> it, <laughs> no, it, it not goes Kirby. Kirby phases. It goes through, it's Snoopy right now, <laughs> and then it goes to Kirby. They, have, they pick a, a fluffy guy every like, uh-huh. year. You gotta, have, guy. You gotta they have a vote for him. Guy. That's their election. Yeah. I love to see them. I was okay. You know how Snoopy's big right now? Oh Not really. yes, it's for it's for <laughs> girls in the from sixteen to like thirty. Oh. Snoopy's uh-huh. huge. Okay, wow. everybody hates Woodstock. I've aged out of Snoopy <laughs> fandom. I'm just, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, Snoopy's beginner shit. You I'm probably haven't heard about. Right He's now. a new guy on the scene. <laughs> yeah. Snoopy, he's so funny. He's a pilot. He does. He's, yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> he's so dude. Yeah, Snoopy dated my friend a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were really low key he's about it. He's a sex it. addict. Aren't yeah. you like ninety <laughs> five? <laughs> <laughs> in dog years, Snoopy's like a million years old. That's actually really interesting. Uh, my uh, dog groomed me because he's a million years old. <laughs> Role reversal. That's funny. Thank you. That's funny. <laughs> uh, what did we cut you off from saying about Snoopy, though? Oh, I just, everybody hates Woodstock. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Who gives a fuck about Woodstock? Yeah, I was I just, guy. Woodstock's just living his life. Yeah, but I was just wondering, because the fluffy guys, that was Snoopy, oh, yeah. Kirby, sure. Minions. Either you die as Snoopy or you live long enough to be a Woodstock. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm assuming if Snoopy, have you seen like a really old dog? They kind of get bird like <laughs> in terms of mange. Yeah, no, yes. yeah, that happens. You, you know, know, we all agree on that. I don't think I'm out of line here. No, I agree with that. <laughs> okay. I mean, true for <laughs> all of us get bird like. Um, I stand by it. My dog's named Birdie. Whoa. There you go. She ate a bird. Really? Oh. Yeah, I was like, you wow. are what you eat. That's harrowing. Yeah, yeah. Megan was saying she has a pit bull. <laughs> it was yeah, it's a pit bull. And she <laughs> ate it was my it was my friend's dog and uh she ate his roommate's girlfriend's pet bird. Oh. Mm. Like a, a very beloved bird. And then wow. he was like, I have to get rid of the dog. Megan, do you want this evil dog? You're going to kill this dog. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was like, I'll take the dog. Yeah, sure. I don't got a bird. Yeah, her name was Athena. And I was like, nah, you're birdie now. You're evil. Wow. <laughs> wow. How many Newtons can it pull with? So what, you, named, a lot. you named the dog birdie after, after it ate she the, ate dog? the bird. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Does she birdie. respond to Birdie now? Yeah, it's her name. Yeah, that's great. Good for her. Yeah. Do you feel like when you take this dog out, it could be uh, a fatal time it's for like, you every time? <laughs> I, to, I put this like crazy muzzle on her. Oh my god, time. that's good. <laughs> she's like, she's just like, okay, I'm gonna admit to something bad. I have a patio, and I let her just pee on the patio. Oh, word. okay. <laughs> but now my downstairs neighbor has mold. <laughs> <laughs> who knows why? <laughs> who knows why? <laughs> That's New York, baby. That's kind of like the perfect podcasting confession. There's no way your neighbor's going to find it. No, they're not going to listen to this. <laughs> no, she she texted me the other day, and she was like, uh, hey, I don't know if you know me. I live downstairs. Um, I tested positive for three types of mold. So she has mold in her lungs. Oh, no. But oh, I don't. I don't think you can say that dog <laughs> <to> that one. <laughs> Do we need to cut this? No, I don't think so, because I don't think it's my fault. Oh, this okay, is okay. something I should have looked up Just on. Chime in as a lawyer, legally bulletproof. Yeah, <laughs> Everything on a podcast isn't real. It's not admit you can say all sorts of shit. But um, so I was like, maybe I should let my dog pee on the balcony less. Yeah. I take her on walks and she, mm. yeah, yeah. I don't think that it caused the long no, mold. No, 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 no. You're good. Yeah. You're fine. You're good. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna tell myself. Anyway, the theme this week is dark arts. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're gonna be talking about magic. There's a lot of magic people on Florida. Um, cool. Should I read these? Should, I just, should we get into it? Yeah, I did play the forbidden knowledge theme because this That's is going to be mostly forbidden knowledge. There is like a few snuck in at the yes. end there that are like. So this is on actual. Rumors. There's a Quora sub community called Forbidden Knowledge where they openly discuss. It's things. mostly where the witchcraft is, okay. to be frank. This is. This was accepted by Nick's Shadow Hawk. Who is the mod of Forbidden Knowledge. <laughs> is that true? Which is why he pops up so oh, quickly. He's an inspiring <laughs> novelist. Wow. Hey, he lives in New York. We gotta get We gotta get on. Nick's on. <laughs> How many followers? He has 8,000 followers. That oh, seems wait, pretty what good. Is he's got the, clout. What's the threshold for like Quora famous for followers? I don't know. <laughs> let's, see what, let's see what Mr. Peterson has. Okay. If I can find him. 
Yeah, dude, look that up. Pull, pull that up really I quick. feel like people have like five digits. I, I don't know if we've seen anyone with like... You don't get like TikTok numbers for sure. It's not yeah, like, oh, TikTok, I have 10 million Quora fans. Yeah, you have to have like a, a half a million on TikTok to be like TikTok famous. Jordan yeah. Peterson has 47,000. Okay, so in the thousands is good. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, in the yeah. thousands is good. I mean, I think a lot of people respect his arcane knowledge. Dr. Yeah, Jordan I'm Peterson you to or clean Nick's? Your room. Nick's Shadowhawk. <laughs> Nick Shadowhawk should just be like a men's influencer as well. <laughs> Men, yeah, do not order a succubus. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. Let me oh, read, read the question. The question, yeah. okay, never mind. the question is how do I summon a succubus that I can serve and let her use me? Oh. <laughs> it's kind of sweet. Very sexual. Very wholesome. Um, if you're going to order a succubus. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I feel like that's against what a succubus does. I feel like they order yeah. you around, so you can't call one in. Yeah. I got to step yeah, yeah, in yeah. here, and maybe this is extended tips for men. <laughs> tips for men! Do not order a succubus. They're bad. It's, they're saying they're summon for what for it's you. worth. We're saying order. Don't order or summon one. Yeah, it's kind they of like they suck a, out the life of your sperm. Succubuses can tell if you're needy, if you're like looking for them, because yeah. they want to. They want to succubus you. They want to succubus you. They want to well, succubus I mean, you. <laughs> We're walking right into your routine here. But <laughs> <laughs> I do believe they want to succubus you. All joking aside, if you get summoned, do you have a choice? Uh -huh. oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I think they always have a choice. <laughs> Because that feels Boy like if, women. like, you know, you do the circle <laughs> and everything, and then somebody shows up, sure. and they get to go, oh, fuck this again. Or From what I've seen in The Sandman, mm -hmm. uh, they, oh, yeah, they kind of just have to show up once they're summoned, but then they can leave. Okay. Okay. Is kind of the gist I get, but like they gotta like hear the request out, and then they're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. That's stupid. Bad bitch. <laughs> Why do you want to kill your daughter-in-law? <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Uh, but succubuses, they're no good. Get them out of your life. Cool. Okay, could you... I believe there's an important answer with this one. Oh, um, someone says, basically don't have sex. Solo also counts. It's the late medieval slash renaissance explanation for wet dreams. Sorry, but that's the way it is. Solo also counts? Oh, solo also counts. And they're oh, saying you can't jerk off. off. Don't jack off. Uh -huh, honey. Um... <laughs> Yes, yeah, uh, that's from cancer, Alyssa so. Mauer Klo, whose <laughs> bio says, "I'm the elite liberal they warned you about." Oh, damn! They are always warning me about. Look <laughs> <laughs> for them; they are witches. She, this is this. I think there's a woman. She's a a witch. She, she. Yeah. Yeah. Fair We're enough. in forbidden knowledge. There's going right. to be witches. There, she's a witch. Began I don't want to trigger you, Jeremy. But you're <laughs> in witch territory now. Oh no. Uh, cool. All right. Well, um, are there other? There's. I was wrong. This isn't one of the answer ones, but I okay. do. I just like reading the answers in general. Yeah. There's, there's a really fucking long answer that I don't really want to read because it's like four paragraphs. It's got a political <laughs> cartoon in it of like a dog <laughs> of a with <laughs> wings. <laughs> what could? How does that relate to this? I think it's like a web comic for witches. It says, "Love me." For some reason, people get a tad bit disappointed when sex demons actually do show up. Love me. Oh, so it's pro sex demon. Oh, yeah. she wants love. She doesn't just want to be used for. Her. I think it's a joke. This is from Zachary Jean. Oh, okay. Is he a cartoonist? I don't know. Okay, we'll never know. <laughs> That's for the best. I think it's like a a witch meme. Oh, witches are laughing a lot right now. <laughs> yeah, if you're I a witch. Think this is so fun. This is like let people it. enjoy things for witches. <laughs> yeah, <you know? laughs> love me. They say to each other. Okay, I'm gonna read another one of these. Love me. This one is. Uh, oh, these all have the same people on them because it's really a small community of of witches. And we'll have them all locked. Uh, how do solitary witches practice magic without the guidance of a coven or other practitioners? I would not practice magic without a coven. You need the coven. The witch loneliness epidemic. Is yeah. Out of it. <laughs> Since COVID. Yeah, it's so sad. Everybody's <laughs> isolated on Zoom doing oh witch God. team magic together. By the Drawing way, if, a fucking pentagram on Zoom is so embarrassing. So embarrassing. <laughs> if your pod is not your coven, you need a priority. <laughs> you need a better coven. Our our coven's also like polyamorous. Um, a lot of times, uh, they're I think they're just like uh. They're doing all of the things in the devil's book, so I would assume <laughs> sure. so. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. devil loves polyamory. The devil yeah. loves love, baby. Yeah. The devil is kind of Austin Powers coded in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, so to address the question, are witches polyamorous? I think they are polyamorous. Or at least I, the Venn diagram of witch and polyamory is sure. like a circle. I probably. think it's usually all women. 
And well, isn't it? Wouldn't they be a warlock if they're a man? Isn't that a thing? Yeah, but I don't think you're in a coven if you're a warlock. Oh, uh, I'm so. I don't. I think you could just get a frat house if you're in a warlock. You know so much more about witch. I do. I have a lot of witch adjacent friends. Do you? Yeah, my sister is like one more like acid trip away from being a witch. I think, or yeah. she's like a. She um texted the family group chat and she was like, "I found this roadkill raccoon on the side of the road, so I took it and I skinned it and I'm gonna bury it for its bones." Wow. That's and so sick. I was like, "Don't do that." <laughs> <laughs> oh no, um, homie. <laughs> no, she's gonna get diseases. No, she's very like um homeopathic. Sure. Um, oh baby. <laughs> Wait. That's Wario. That's our friend. Wario. That's yeah. good. I just wanted to hit the button. No, I, I understand. Um, but yeah, uh, I I'm almost afraid to go out on a limb here because I'm definitely a novice. Like I'm not a practicing witch. Uh, <laughs> I've only learned things from doing this podcast. I, if you're a witch <laughs> listening, I, it's my time to shut up and and uh, sit my white ass down and listen. Sure. Yeah. Send us an email. Tell us what we don't know. Tell us what we don't know, and also be like really condescending about it because I'm noticing that a lot in this community. <laughs> Uh, Was there a specific answer you wanted me to read, Alex? I don't think on this one. Well, I just want to get the general like uh, <laughs> answer. Uh, it's either within you or or without. Magic chooses you. You don't choose it. I knew I was a witch from being little. I've not always had powers, but I've earned them in this life, and I can say it's bestowed upon certain people and clans. Oh, I would love to be in a magic clan. When they say powers... <laughs> <laughs> What's your question? Are they, are, they, are they literally like doing like sp- they're doing spells? Interesting and curses, from what I understand, potions. I no. lie as a kid. I would lie and say I could control the weather. Oh um, yeah, you That's may have been in a clan. I was it. Well, it was of. Um, we were in Disney World on the 4th of July and it was raining really bad. Uh, and I was really into Harry Potter and like Wizards of Waverly Place. And I was like, I turned to my sister. I was like, hey, Kara, I'm going to make it stop raining. Uh-huh. I, was like, so weird. I did like this hand thing and then it stopped raining. Wow. That's really So you impressive. might actually have I might power. actually have power. And then my sister would not shut up about asking me to teach her how to do magic. Yeah, sure. So then I was. You don't have it. Yeah. I have it. <laughs> and now she's like burying raccoons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she went full circle. She's we, still chasing that one time you made it stop raining. And I knew that I was lying to her because I knew I didn't uh-huh. have magic. So I was like, don't tell mom or they're going to have to send me off to Hogwarts. <laughs> and so then, um, she still thought I was telling the truth. I and mean, we were in line for Peter Pan and she would not shut up. And um, she was like, tell me how to do this. And I turned to her and I was like, I'm lying. It's not true. I can't do magic. And then she went to tell on me, yeah. but she still thought I was telling the truth. So she said, mom, Megan lied about something, but I can't tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> so then I was, my mom was like, shut up. Like, that what? just shows how committed she is to getting yeah. the magic. She thought though. I was being so serious. And from reading the answer, answer you can tell like this person was not born with it and they had to earn it through their act yeah and that's what your that's the road your sister's on yeah she was yeah, yeah. i hope she gets there bless I her heart so too and i always say that in the non-southern way because i'm from <laughs> massachusetts yeah sure <laughs> i always forget after i say it it's like an insult is it really yeah, yeah in texas it's kind of like a like it's like a oh you're so stupid Aww. you're so stupid, so stupid. <laughs> yeah. they don't have access to like New York Puerto Ricans like we do <laughs> <laughs> to just say it <laughs> uh, that that person who said that by the way who was like I've always had powers is this woman Anna Kalman and she is a horny witch all her questions on Quora are like uh, who are some hot hippie guys from back in the day mm. today the moon is moody and sexy Scorpio. Or what kinds of songs guys do you associate? Do you guys you guys ask a question on the forum that you did the episode about? Can you do um is love spells rape? Oh, <laughs> because that's been, gonna get a lot of engagement. I've been wondering about that because it like it feels not right. Sure. From what we've I mean what we've read so far, it does sound like that is the case. But uh, we'll ask it at the end. I would yeah, love we did the question at the yeah. end. <laughs> it's a good question to ask too because like. When we have two guys on next week, we don't know very well. <laughs> and they're like, I don't want to fucking answer this. And it will like, be right. four white men <laughs> hanging out and just being like, our love spells rape. Thank you for coming on our show. <laughs> nice to meet you. Do you think it's rape? <laughs> Let's draw a line here. <laughs> There's a right answer and a wrong yeah. answer. Uh, now that the episode started, I do not want you doing spells. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Well, did we get? I, I would like some more like information on like what happens in a coven. Is there like more coven knowledge? Um, I don't know. What can a coven give me that an ocean cannot? Oh, I'm it is the universal that. womb, my natal heartbeat, the source of all life on this planet. This is from Zachary Jean again. Yo, he's spitting. I have no need for grimoires or invocations since that 
That's not how you communicate with the waves or wind or tide. They transcend all our human languages and the ego's need for control. Call it sea fever. They call it ecstasy of the waves haunts me. This is like a slam poem. I was about to say they're trying to get me to rap again. (laughs) We've said no more. Uh, clearly covens give a lot of comfort to certain people and that's fine. Otherwise we'll all, we'd all be solitary practitioners, but not to me. That's okay. not how I interact with the divine. So Zachary is anti coven, but mm. as to my knowledge, covens are for girls. So yeah. So maybe you're no jealous. You're jealous. You wish you were in a coven. Yeah. I it think would it be is. so affirming to have a sisterhood to summon he says, the demons. With if you. a coven is what makes you happy, then more power to you. For me though, how can I not burn every time I hear the crashing waves? <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? I agree with that, though. (laughs) How could you not burn when you hear the crashing waves? (laughs) I know I couldn't not burn. That answer doesn't feel like it fits the question. Does it? (laughs) (laughs) It kind of feels like he's doing his own thing. You're going to notice that with a lot of these answers, I feel. Would you believe this guy has a poetry degree? From the University of Nevada. I would believe that. I would believe that. (laughs) I sensed a kindred spirit. (laughs) Okay. How can you not burn when you sense the ocean? <laughs> I actually get cooled off by the ocean. Really? I don't burn. <laughs> Salty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> burn my nose. I look like Rudolph. So is there nothing about covens? Uh, not really. It's so wrong to want to learn about covens. Yeah. Apparently, uh, there's not really anything other than that guy. Okay. All right. Well, maybe it'll come up in one of the other ones. Uh, everyone's talking so like. I'm a little disappointed, whatever. but it's fine. <laughs> All right. I'll read another one. I'll read another one. This is a good one. If a witch was being sued and they did a spell on the plaintiff and their lawyers, would the witch's spell be more effective if the plaintiff and their lawyers knew the defendant was a witch, more effective if they didn't know, or no difference? Okay, so what I like about this one is it falls under the very common Quora category of, like, posting your crimes that are happening to you. (laughs) right. Um, because I think this is probably a witch who is on trial right now. It must like, be. Quick question before I ask the jury. <laughs> if I do a defense spell. Do I announce I'm a witch first? <laughs> Just a heads up. <laughs> How could I have killed that guy? I am a witch. <laughs> I feel like that would help your insanity plea, but That's, it would yeah. not help <laughs> the rest yeah. of your trial. <laughs> to be clear, my lawyer is telling me to do this, but I wanted to ask Quora first. Sure. The judge is like, we saw you swear on the Necronomicon. <laughs> <laughs> so we assumed something was up. You know, we asked you to put your hand on the Bible, and then you said it burns, it burns. <laughs> <laughs> it's somewhat of a tell. <laughs> um, does this have any answers? Uh, does- yeah, this has six answers. Oh, okay. Um, Handmaiden to Horses says... Uh, great name. Great name. So you do understand that a legal proceeding takes place in the physical world, right? The spell takes place in the Whoa. intersection where the worlds meet. Witches stay out of that territory if they are wise women indeed. Infinite regression, perhaps? It is necessary to understand where the worlds meet. Each instance could be unique. It's so hard to get shut down like that on your own <laughs> To be explained the realms. Like you don't know. Yeah, you idiot. Like you don't know where they meet. Yeah, infinite regression, perhaps, you <laughs> fucking idiot. Maybe it's just the way Jeremy read it, but I heard infinite uh, regression, perhaps, as uh, infinite regression much. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. It's its, its own doing sentence. doing it in the medieval voice. Yeah, yeah. perhaps, like Snape-wise. <laughs> doing it Snape-wise. Um, that's a good answer. I see her on the Handmaiden for Horses page. Sorry, yeah. I mean, she doesn't have too much interesting going on. I saw a big picture of scissors. Um, Does that mean anything? Maybe she has she, a big ceremony to she open was, something. <laughs> <before. laughs> no. She was answering the question, how do I get a stuck tampon out? Oh. oh. So it's just it's pretty straightforward. Scissors, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> just cut that shit up. I'm here to learn. <laughs> Someone else says, um, spells don't work on lawyers. They are a special type of demon that magic nor morals nor anything other than money works on. <laughs> So this is something that we covered extensively on the Patreon, patreon.com slash There's new episodes every Thursday. But uh, spells do work. <laughs> you can do yeah, them. You can do a spell on a lawyer. Why Don't not? tell me I can't do a spell on my goddamn lawyer. What are you, cop? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, yeah, all. you can do a spell on a lawyer. Why not? Why not? Wait, so all lawyers are demons? According to this guy. I think he's doing a little bit. Um, but... um. I'm sorry I got so defensive about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we're it's all true. just trying to have a good time. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other answers that are worth reading. I if would it, like to know what they're being charged with. Yes. Because it might, which obviously. That's important. If she said that. Because if it was like, if it was arson after. and yeah. she just set something on fire, 
I would be scared to prosecute Don't tell her. them you're a witch, yeah. by the way. No, no. Because then it's definitely going to be, yes, you did it. Yes. But if uh, it was like tax evasion? Yeah, exactly. It's something that's not going well for her because she's already committed to like spelling her way out of yes, it. Yes, yes. This guy's name is Raymond Roca, the guy who asked this question. Okay. For what it's worth. He's asked 170 cool questions. I think he lives in uh, Australia. Uh, this may not be something that's like uh, immediately apparent on Quora, but they have like way too much information. Yeah, to you can about you fucking be doxy really? all the time. It's like a LinkedIn situation. I did not know that. You can find out where they went to school. I guess that's good to, if somebody's credible or not. You yeah. can go like, oh, you went to Harvard? I'm not listening to you about witch stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can call them and double what? check. <laughs> <laughs> no. It'd be awesome if they had phone numbers on Quora. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to see if, they, if, if, if he's asked any other questions that are like related to crimes. Hmm. Can you, when someone answers, can you the poster follow up with uh, to the answer and like clarify. It has kind of like a Facebook comments okay. uh, system. So you can, yeah, you can slam on there, but sometimes the questions are like eight years old and uh, people yeah, are This like, one's recent. This is us? from January 21st. On wow. January 5th, he also asked, if people say that the quality of Malcolm in the Middle didn't decrease as the seasons went on, then what caused the average viewership to go from 15.2 million in season <laughs> one to 3.8 million in season seven? He's got the numbers, folks. <laughs> I don't know how you how you argue with something like that. <laughs> it's clearly the, here's the thing about Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> he has cursed Brian they, Cranston. They got older, and then like the show about three young boys was uh -huh. just like three young men, and it's like this wow. isn't a show. Yeah, That's, this well, isn't a show. <laughs> that can't be a premise. They're for a TV all show. in college. That's not a show. <laughs> <laughs> they don't live with their family anymore. When did Reese leave? I, I, I <laughs> I've never seen that with the middle, honestly. I no. think whenever Francis starts working at that ranch is when I kind of tuned out. Yeah. There. Francis was my favorite. I was so in I love with him. I liked him, too. He's... I think because I was an oldest child, and I was like, I would like to have an older brother, but I don't. My mom always called me Malcolm, or she was like, you're the uh, Malcolm or family. I was like, so I'm misunderstood, and, yeah. and uh, you hate me. <laughs> because I know spells. Because I'm smart. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you guys are some of the 11 million who dropped off between seasons one Hashtag we are the 11 million. I think the show was finished by the time I was watching it, or because yeah, I'm 12 years old. You, so. didn't get the, <laughs> you didn't get the Nielsen rating in the uh, show. <laughs> I was TiVoing a lot of it. I think that counts. I was on I think so. Nick at Night. On TiVo. Nick at Night had Malcolm in the middle. Mm -hmm. I'm 500 years old. <laughs> <laughs> this is a deeply disturbing episode so far. Forbidden knowledge. You want me to read another question? Um, okay, this is one of the answers you want me to read, Alex. Okay, the answer ones are really good. I guess I was just a little excited for them, and I jumped the gun. But Okay. This question is, how long does it take to learn how to cast spells properly as an apprentice, witch, slash, warlock? So this is just, like, fundamentals, and I sure. am interested in getting to the bottom of it. And then this guy, Lion or Hod, says, uh, first off, please just remove the term warlock from your vocabulary. <laughs> you never recover from <laughs> something like that. You could never recover. <laughs> Uh, my public spellcrafting class is organized to take six weeks. If you aren't at least a competent spellcaster by the end of that, you are not serious about your study or aren't doing the exercises slash homeworks or just not paying attention. Certainly, this will not teach you everything you need to know about spellcrafting. Hell, I'm still learning more every day, 40 plus years in, but it will give you a strong basis. You must take three spellcrafting classes to uh, attempt for a spellcrafting house team. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah. It's hard to get out, but this I is how I feel about, about like writing like internet satire stuff because I feel like everybody who teaches a class, you can just feel the desperation off them. Yeah. Where it's just like like a simmering anger after forty years of spell. Yeah, it's like oh, this isn't a job unless I trick other people into thinking it's a job. Got it. Okay. If I ever teach a class, it means I'm so sad. I'm so sick of these young influencer magicians <laughs> go out and just get spells. <laughs> I was like, um, Caroline Calloway had a creativity workshop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, which is, first of all, she was just being a genius. And she was like, it's $500, you get a potted plant at the end. <laughs> she knows spells. She was doing it the right way. or Because it is a grift, but I think she was the only one that was aware that it was a grift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, sure. like, every acting class is just the most miserable, older <laughs> actress that was in one episode of CSI. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, pretend you're a worm. Yeah, yeah. I you, don't know. You need to do the action of being a worm. <laughs> Since nothing works for me, I guess do whatever you want. Alex, are you the person who told me you took a screenwriting writing class and then the teacher got like hired on a show during the class? Yeah. 
uh, she got hired for Metalocalypse from <laughs> showing us how to do outlines, which was pretty clutch because I was like, and now I know the outlines. <laughs> Wasn't the story that she like did a thing where she brought in a Metalocalypse writer and was yeah. like, this is how you do an outline. See, I wrote a spec for Metalocalypse. And they were and the like, was this like, is what we good. need. Yeah, and exactly. And then she was like, I'm leaving this class. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you stay in the class? I don't, it just They're really in the class because they don't have the It's job. just such a fucking weird ploy to be like, I'm teaching this class at what was NYU yeah. and being like, I'm, it's for education. I'm bringing in the person who could hire me for a job as a screenwriter at Metalocalypse, my yeah. dream job. And I've written a spec. And I've written a spec. Uh, it is, it's very similar to like inviting Arthur Pendragon to your spells workshop. Sure. And then getting picked up for his immortal round table. Mm -hmm. Sure. And you're Merlin. And you're Merlin. <laughs> and you are wizard Merlin. I mean, if Arthur, if Arthur is still around in this hypothetical, then he would also be magic. Sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we're all agreed there. <laughs> anyway, it's really sad how how bitter these old warlocks get. I wonder what this guy's class is like. Especially because you're, if you're a warlock, you could live for like 500 years. That's just going to keep building. Yeah, just be happy. Why don't you just go chill. ahead and like get into like Pokemon Go or something? <laughs> yeah, get into like collecting. Yeah, to get into worms. Yeah, get into worm collecting. <laughs> worm play. Yeah, cut the worms in half. <laughs> they have make more, have worms. more worms. <laughs> double your worms. <laughs> yeah. That's witchcraft. I guess my advice would be to double your worms. Okay, you know, there's a lot of like younger girl witches, like 20 year old witches. <gasps> there's no wizards. <laughs> yeah. What, why are we not capturing the wizard? I, I wonder if that will come up. And here, there's, I think, a few questions about warlocks, although I may just be thinking of this one, how mean he was about the warlock terminology. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, this guy lives in Florida. Orlando, Florida. Why aren't there warlocks? I, I, I guess just, like, you're either born with it or in, it's in your clan. Maybe men are smarter than women. <laughs> That's got to be what it is. Yeah. Thank you for saying that because we can now use that as a clip to get 10 million views. <laughs> Hit but, that uh, tips for Med Yeah, we're going to go ahead and slam that. Tips for Med uh, But yeah, overall, it's uh, I think there's a gender divide there. Sorry, I was distracted because I, I was looking up this guy, Lion or You've Hod. left Quora, I've noticed. I've found that he has written six ebooks. Oh. One of them is called Haunted. How to cleanse and ward your home, get rid of demons, ghosts, or negative spirits, and keep the friendly ones. That could be a bonus episode. <laughs> I could read one of these. That sounds good. I'm trying to see. The purpose of this book is to help you determine, one, if you're being haunted, two, what kind of entity you might be dealing with, three, what to do about it if you are haunted. I've watched, and possibly you have too, numerous ghost hunting TV programs. And Jeremy videos. has pulled up a full ebook now. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if, like, the. If I get it, to figure out if you're possibly being haunted, he's like, "Do you get sleepy sometimes?" <laughs> <laughs> it does. That's a, what they think like haunting is. There's one. I think maybe the next one. One of the ones coming up, like very clearly, spells out like when you have a curse afflicted, mm. oh. and it's honestly a lot of stuff I never like even considered a curse wise. Yeah, anything. He's written an ebook called Spellcraft Secrets: The Art of Creating magic spells made easy. Oh, and there's that was a big him. pentagram on it. <laughs> I always see that at Barnes and Noble. <laughs> <laughs> if you're making ebooks, what's stopping you from like self publishing? He is. That is self publishing. Yeah. I know it's self publishing, but it's not like it's not getting it is Alex. paper. It's not. It's not. It's not in paper. I don't um, have one on my mantle. I think it's just expensive to, yeah. to sell a book, to make a book. You can do it through I Amazon, I think. Like you can yeah. paperback it through Amazon. If one is a warlock, <laughs> would your ally, uh, alliance with trees forbid you from making a book? Ooh. Okay. Not historically, but in this day and age when I you don't have to. I think, yeah. I think you could still do it. I think you could do it. The answer's probably yes. Are all, are all warlocks earth like based Earth warlocks? element, yeah. I don't or... think so. I thought warlock was just boy witch. Boy witch. I th you can pick any element. You could be fire. And Do you then... have to have an element? Well, you could. <laughs> okay. Don't tell me what right, a warlock. There's so yeah, many based on all the turn-based combat games <laughs> I've played, I think you have to pick an element. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can pick up to two in multi-class, <laughs> and that's about it. All right, I'm going to read another one of these questions. Thank How you. do you know if someone is doing witchcraft slash brujeria on you? What is brujeria? Oh, brujeria. brujeria. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Sorry, I'm from shit. Texas. Mayo I know about brujeria. I know about brujeria. brujeria. What is that? It's Mexican. You don't know oh. about brujeria. <laughs> it's Jewish as hell. Spot, spot the guy who doesn't know about brujeria. <laughs> God uh, damn. All right. Um, let's see. This is what signs. I was talking about. This is kind of like Jeff Foxworthy coded. Okay. Number one, physical symptoms. Wait, you got to read. The oh, sorry. How do you... 
How do you know if they if how do you know if someone may be doing witchcraft or brujeria against you? And why would they do it? Let's explore the possibilities. The name of the post. Five answer, signs Jeremy. that someone may be doing witchcraft or brujeria against These you. These are the five signs. Yeah, yeah, okay. I said that. You Number one. <laughs> I'd right, be yeah. doing brujeria. Continue. Physical symptoms. Physical symptoms are the most common signs of witchcraft and brujeria. These can include infections that won't go away, sudden onset of illness for no no known reason, extreme fatigue or uh, after previously feeling healthy, loss of appetite and weight loss, nausea and vomiting, frequent headaches, strange sensations such as numbness in hands, tinglings in limb, in limbs, pins and needles. I think I've had brujeria before. That's the case. <laughs> yeah. If you have long COVID. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> this is the same thing. There's a, and that does line up with the time period of uh, the witch increase we've been seeing yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> every symptom ever. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> Do you feel bad? Yeah. That's Are you witches. sad a little bit? Oh. <laughs> Um, two, financial changes. One of the most common signs that you're being cursed is when your finances change drastically. The Corrators podcast has recently fallen under some witchcraft. <laughs> Cracked as well. around uh, Done December. witchcraft on us. <laughs> Cracked.com. Uh, often people will feel a shift in their financial status at the same time they start experiencing other symptoms of bewitchment. Other indicators may include increased gambling, spending money on things you don't need, or an unexplained run of bad luck. Keep in mind that it's not always easy to see the difference between these events and daily life. It's possible for us to have a little bit of bad luck every now and then on, without being under a spell. But if this is happening on a regular basis, then something else might be going on. Health problems. Certain rituals may also cause physical problems such as headaches, fever, stomach aches. Health problems was issues. not included in the first part? It was. I don't know why she's doing it again. Health problems again. Uh, Millen is him. Sorry. Double tap. Um, yeah. That, seriously, if you have a fucking stomach ache, you're being cursed. That's it for you. That fine. That explains everything. Yeah, <laughs> I've been cursed my whole Just life. From what I've read in this post, like it's kind of hard to tell when you're not cursed. Yeah, sure. because most things could be one. I like that it, the money thing. It says if you're increased gambling, but if yeah. you're winning, you're not cursed. No, a good of course curse. not. You're a curse blessed. wouldn't. So, but wouldn't a good would a good curse? Are good curses spells? This gets into the love spells rape thing again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> If you curse yourself to win at at gambling, sure. Yeah. What if you're just legally? A what is if you that? pass yeah. the bar exam? Does that negate all curses? Because now you're a oh, lawyer. Now yeah. you're getting, Now you're signed the devil's book. <laughs> Guy who goes to law school because he's so scared of witches. <laughs> he passes the bar. Sure. After it's reading just, one Quora answer, <laughs> it's just safer here. <laughs> I just feel a lot more comfortable at law at Harvard Law School. <laughs> Um, number three, feeling drained. If you feel drained all the time, I'm it trying could be. to. <laughs> Someone is doing witchcraft slash brujeria against you. Witches and brujas, who are powerful practitioners of witchcraft, often drain their victims of energy in order to keep themselves strong. This is drunk through spells, curses, and potions. If you're exhausted all the time with that explanation, it could be that someone is draining your energy. I just I feel exhausted all the time. That's the same as the fatigue in the first one. Yeah, or you should like stretch. It says, um, if this happens after a major life change, like a divorce or losing a job, it's important to get help right away before any type of mental illness can develop. Your <laughs> wife may have cursed you. <laughs> and yeah. probably did. If you're sad because you got a divorce, that's witchcraft. Yeah, that's your witchcraft. wife cursed you in the divorce process. <laughs> you can legally set her on fire. <laughs> <laughs> divorce is a kind of spell. Any kind of divorce, well play. Divorce is the, the hardest spell of all. Or the, yeah. divorce is the hardest powerful. spell of all. Yeah. yeah. I've seen it tear covens asunder. <laughs> what is a marriage without a coven? <laughs> we'll stay together for the warlocks. <laughs> Apprentices. Sure. Um, sure. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to decide how much of this is worth reading. <laughs> Emotional changes. You've been feeling more sad than usual. <laughs> Your moods have been swinging wildly from happy to depressed without any real reason as to this why. This is the same one again. <laughs> you didn't have time. trouble five. sleeping at night. You're yeah. not getting paid for this. Just say the three thing. <laughs> you only have You're going to love number five, Alex. Number five. I'm just not going to read the rest number of that one. Number five will shock you. Number five will shock Relationship you. issues. I'm really mad, actually. <laughs> You're I'm, experiencing relationship issues I'm in any form, included but not limited upset. to breakups, arguments, misunderstandings with partners. There is a chance that witchcraft may be the cause. How do you write this out and not know you wrote the same thing three times? In order to find out if someone is doing witchcraft against you or someone you know, it's important to know the signs that point towards a suspicion. The fi following five signs indicate that witchcraft may be taking place. Number one, lack of clarity. Number There's two, another five? sense There's of unease. 
<laughs> Number three, inexplicable emotions such as anger, jealousy, or sadness. Number four, relationship difficulties. And number five, physical pain without Wait, Me when cause. I cheat on my girlfriend, babe, somebody cursed you. <laughs> You're freaking it's out right cursed. now about nothing. <laughs> There's you gotta one find answer. who did this. Yeah, dude. What the hell? <laughs> this guy's got a website. Oh, okay. I don't know. What website is this? I can't. It's just is a it Google just a site. Name? Remove black magic curses and spell slash home. Oh, okay. I, I could use that. Free yourself from negative catchers? energy and live your best life. Okay. We'll get some of these pics on the YouTube. My <laughs> high school had a huge dream catcher in the lobby. Really? We were the... Um, did we you were, sleep there? Yeah, we were the warriors, um, like Native American. Oh, <laughs> it's a huge dream catcher. Wow. Um, and they have not taken it. down. I was about to ask if it's been taken it's down. Still there. It's, it's another victory against woke. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> our dream catcher stands tall. <laughs> the, the, um, in the student section, there was like a male like cheerleader, or, like they did the crowd. They had this huge headdress that they would wear. Oh uh, wow! I so he's the chief. He's the chief. They called him the chief. I feel like the most offensive part of the whole thing is promoting a boy to chief. Yeah. <laughs> you do not have the qualifications. No. Wow. Not ready to lead the tribe. <laughs> but the, oh, but the dream catcher at my high school it said like math. Like it's, <laughs> it's like math, writing, English, college. Like this is an incredibly catcher. Texas story. Yeah. Every yeah. element of it. And we, but all joking aside, we love math here on the core. <laughs> <laughs> Engineering. Oh yeah, college English. That post pissed me off. How uh, it he did not have five tips and then added another five at the end. That made me really mad. Uh, this is a witchcraft question. We can go on to. Can you absorb the calories in pen ink? I drink some pen ink as a dare, and now I'm scared that it will cause me to gain weight. Please help. So the first thing is we can't assume this is a troll. <laughs> no, we, we cannot. We have to take all these questions at face value. Yes. Does Everything has calories. Yes. So also, you are getting want, calories. There's no poison question here. It's just weight loss. Am I going to get fat from yeah. drinking this pen ink? The, the, first of all, stop drinking it. Um, <laughs> second of all, second of all yeah, like I feel like we gotta say that it's a mason jar. <laughs> <laughs> it's not to be drank. Uh, it is pen ink. And then once you've done it, probably your insides are turning all pink. I feel like and a stuff. pen doesn't good. have a lot of ink though. It's like a gushers amount of pen. Well, it ink. must be like a like a calligraphy uh, because right. they're in the witch territory. They're probably yeah, right. doing dip a feather in it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you could get a lot of cows out of that thing. Yeah. My oh, advice: yeah. first of all, get new friends. Yeah. Who dared you to do this? Yeah. You don't need that person in your life. You don't need somebody making poisonous gushers. Get out a of new coven. Yeah. Get a new. Find yourself a new coven. <laughs> I've been waiting for a reason to hit the cash button, but it's probably not going to come up today. I need to oh, accept sure. that and move on. Um. Yeah. I was trying to think of something. Yeah. That's fine. Um, <laughs> but yeah, everything has calories. And one thing to remember is the calories printed on the back of your food labels are actually kilocalories. They're 1,000 of the small calories. You have true? to watch the case of the sea. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good to know if you drink the ink from your pen. <laughs> <laughs> If you crack one of those open. I do think they're like a pixie stick. I don't think they're calorie dense. I think they're good. I think that's probably true. I think you're I think you're probably fine. It's mostly just poison. Yeah, that's what I sh you should be worried about. Which as a witch, I feel like is relevant. <laughs> this is not in forbidden knowledge for what it's worth. No, uh, but I'm just it's a witchcraft episode. Yeah. Yes. So this is a this is a I imagine many witches are gonna watch this. One thing. spell you could do is making them drink ink. <laughs> Drink all the ink in your quill. Sure. <laughs> Tell like them a it will be witch. funny. <laughs> I f the You've been pranked. <laughs> the, spe the speed at which the culture change happened and witches, uh -huh. and they went from like old, crusty little sure, witches green. to like models mm -hmm. is, uh, I'm not prepared for it. And in my mind, they're still, um, they're like bewitched witches. Uh -huh. Or bewitched, they're sexy witches too. Yeah, and in um, Practical Magic. How, how how far back do we got to go? Man, how far back you got to go <laughs> for the witches to be classical witches? I think the, the Looney Tunes, where bugs oh, and that witch are yeah. beefing with each other. Those ones scared me as a kid. One of his <laughs> greatest foes, yeah. Yeah. I hate that witch. Because Bugs Bunny normally is just tangling with mortals. Sure. Yeah. People and he's met powers. his match in the witch. He's met his match in the witch. The witch gets <laughs> the best of him several times. <laughs> the witch can see through his cross dressing. Yes. yes. I know you're the bunny. You're still a rabbit. <laughs> Why would that stop me from getting you? You're. A, I'm after a rabbit. You're a rabbit. I know it's not duck season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've consulted my orb. <laughs> 
I'm he's, imagining Jordan Peterson on these chorus and just being like, these witches are too sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink ink. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good for you. <laughs> Clean the ink out of your room <laughs> before you start drinking it yeah. for clout. <laughs> is he? He's not like a homeopathic guy. No, he loves like benzos, right? He, well, he, he kind of is, meat. though. He eats only red meat. That's, homeo- yeah, that's homeopathy, that's though. That's boy witch. That yeah, is that's boy a witch. boy witch. Sigma is boy witch now, actually. If you're, you're doing right. YouTube diet stuff, you're a witch, pretty much. Yes, it's just, yeah, that's the boy, which might be dumber than the women's stuff, actually. I think so. Women smarter True. than men? Women smarter oh, than men. No. We've gotten upset. We'll and put now, those both on TikTok and see which one does we'll see. better. <laughs> We're actually losing a lot of viewers right now. But, uh, I'm not sure of which side I agree with. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, let's get the next question going. Okay, I sure. Feel like well, we so are... Do we want to read any of these these answers? Because one of them, uh, oh, this the person is, is not happy about it. Aaron Sue says, gaining weight is not the problem here. Think about it for a second, and then all periods here. You just drank pen ink. Mm. You could get poisoned. That's what I was saying. Or your nervous system may be damaged a bit. However, of course, it's only if you drank more than one ounce. Very unlikely. If you only drink a few drops or something, then you should drink a lot of water and hope for the best. No, it has no calories and it will not lead to weight gain. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice day. They say this does remind me of like when I started buying weed and just like how much an ounce is fluctuating sure. so much because of a liquid liquids are heavy. And so like an ounce of pen ink, that's probably like, I don't know, like that's a lot. I'm doing fingers if you're listening to the podcast. <laughs> but I feel like it's like a little fingers amount. Um, did we do this question already, Alex? Who buys illegally smuggled sandalwood? No, it was in the Britannic animal episode. We didn't get to it. Okay. But who buys illegally smuggled sandalwood? Who, what's the deal with yeah. the illegally who smuggled sandalwood? Who buys sandalwood? Sandalwood out of the market. That's like the perfume stuff. Yeah. Sandalwood is a class of woods from trees. Okay. Okay, so how do you know if it's well-sourced? Uh, there's no answers on this, by the way. Is it is sandalwood illegal? Well, you can smuggle it if you you get it past customs. I guess anything could be illegal if you smuggle it. The implication by putting it in this episode, I guess, would be a witch. A witch (laughs) would buy it for Uh, spells. um, Apparently, this is a big issue in India, Uh, where 90% of Quora users are. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, What are they using the sandalwood for? Is that good building materials? Um, What does it smell like? Although sandalwood It's it's like a very, like... I don't know. Could you put it in a potion? <laughs> it's a lot of like men's perfume is sandalwood. Uh, the thing where it's like this tastes like this smells like courage or whatever. Yeah, it, yes, it's it the on. like the musk yeah. masculine like yeah. musky uh-huh. kind uh-huh. of. Yeah. The scent of Hit the gun. tips for men. Oh, nope, that's, that's Godzilla. Godzilla. That's Godzilla. <laughs> tips for men. men. Men perfume is sandalwood. <laughs> but um, apparently um, the trees smells. are cut down illegally. Uh, uh, because the government controls their harvest in India, Pakistan, and Nepal. This is um similar to like a palm oil kind of thing, where it's just like every every time you have something with palm oil in it, it's like they're like shooting koalas in the yeah. head. Every time you <laughs> and that's just for fun. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> the economy is just a pyramid of suffering. It's really <laughs> tough when you look into it. Yeah. But anyway, it's mostly witches buying it, from what I understand. Um, there's no answers on this, hmm. so we'll never know. No one knows. I know I don't. Uh, let me read another question. We have a few more. Uh, how is a human shield used, and does it effectively protect against danger? Okay. Oh. <laughs> now, one group I could see using one of these. Okay. Would be a witch. <laughs> sure. A group of witches. Because human humans shield. mean so little to them because they right, are they're kind of allied. They're flesh and them. bones. Yeah, so they might use them as a flesh shield. Um, that said, I don't think... Hello, I'm doing footsies with Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I, I don't here? think I don't know the <laughs> that they would block spells. That's all I wanted to say. Human shields? Yeah, they block low-velocity bullets <laughs> and maybe minor explosions. Spells go through them. I think that's fair. Yeah. Which is not Harry Potter rules. And Harry Potter, the like spell is like you can, they, spells kind of like have like a like a like a uh, they're like wet or something. They like whack they like people with energy, them. Yeah, yeah they yeah. like shoot them with them. This is I'm just doing my Dragon Ball Z podcast again now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think spells you could probably just be like, I want to hit that guy, and it goes. Yeah, can you see a spell? 
I don't think you can see a spell. In Harry Potter, you, I feel like you can't actually see them in Harry Potter. They just did that for sure. the movies. Sure, that was yeah. just for us. Um, yeah, that was for, we got the spell vision. Like when you watch like, a European movie and they're speaking English, but like you know they're Yeah, yeah. we all understand you can't see <laughs> yeah, the yeah. curse. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. green. They're um, just kind of going like this at each other. Wow, how bad. much would that fucking scene at the end where uh, Harry and Voldemort shoot the beams at each other suck? It would if be you boring. you couldn't even see the beam. Well, in and the then book, just... that scene's totally different. Oh. The, in the book, the scene is them just like, circling each other and having a very catty dialogue yeah. and then he just immediately beats him and they're like I know what would improve this yes yeah <laughs> lasers if we made it Dragon Ball Z yeah and it did <laughs> it <laughs> was <cool>. better <laughs> um human shields uh, do you think this person was watching like a movie and they were like that wouldn't work. Everybody would blow up in that yeah. situation. <laughs> I recently watched The Town and they do human shields a little do bit. Do they? Yeah. In The Town? What do they do? Um, well, they take a hostage. The town is Boston Heat. Yeah, it's Boston Heat. It would be heat. so sexy to be a Boston hostage. <laughs> it would be pretty sexy. <laughs> it's just a nightmare to overhear all of the conversation. But mm. um, yeah, then once you, they see your face, you got to kill them too. So it's like a whole movie. Yeah. Sure. Check it out. The town? <laughs> Check out The Town 2010. That's what, okay, <laughs> if you get kidnapped, okay, somebody is committing a crime and you can't see their face. Uh -huh. To me, that means you're going to live. Uh-huh. If I see your face, then you're uh -huh. gonna die. I'm gonna die because yeah, then you're yeah. not scared of being identified. Right. This is it to me as well. I, I, I wasn't sure if this was a common like thought. I think <laughs> it is. I think in the hostage circles, this is like sure. one of the truisms. Like yeah. this is one of their five rules of being. Yes. A hostage. If I'm being held hostage and I see your face, I know I'm gonna die. Yeah. So it doesn't matter anymore. Uh -huh. But I would like to not see their face. I think. Rule two of being a hostage: if you feel nauseous, if you feel dizzy, that's a curse. <laughs> <laughs> you may there's, be taken hostage. There is a in magical your life. entity. <laughs> in the in the attack. If you're going through a divorce, you don't know you've been taken hostage. <laughs> <laughs> rule number four. If, uh, if, if, Read rule if you number see their one. Face. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, in terms of bullets, I feel like 50-50 depends on what kind of bullets they got. Yeah. You're I'm, thinking of like literally somebody holding like a human shield up in front of them. What? Other use the other of the human shield. obvious is one is like the Israeli government being like they're oh, using human shields. But that, they also literally mean that though, because that was like a war on terror mean. thing. Is like Al Qaeda is taking people as shields, and they're like, Sh you can't shoot us. We got them. We got them. I think a lot of it is this is not. They definitely don't work for bombs. I'm gonna get out in front of that. <laughs> I feel like they think it does work for bombs because I feel like the idea would be we're gonna send that guy in first. Right. They'll blow up, uh, then we'll go in after. Oh, uh, so for like. A mine yes so it's like a it's a shield in the sense that like it's shielding you not uh, physically yep. directly but yeah. like it's stopping you from getting blown up but we're all in agreement that in terms of a physical blast or bullet the meat <laughs> shield is no, yeah, quite the limited physical in its shields. Uses. Yeah. the physical shield doesn't work so it's agreed <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's see what the comments say um traditionally human shields have been employed to put pressure on attackers moral scruples my against scruples. injuring civ civilians and unarmed combatants. Yeah, that's that's right. true. And then the, the move is, and you're like, I'm a sicko. This guy, Bobby, says it protects a human for, uh, from every living creature, every dead creature, everything possible, except body lice, bed bugs, venereal disease, crabs, and insane partners. Other than that, it comes with a warranty, and you're good to go. What One happened sentence. to that guy? <laughs> hey, shout out to insane Bobby. partners. Bobby. <laughs> Uh, Bobby's bio is in all caps. I feel blessed being born in 1954 at the time where we never locked doors. We never played us. We played outside all night. We never had to worry about rapists or serial killers or general creeps. I don't know. Oh yeah, there's true. no rapists in the 70s <laughs> or killers, serial killers in the 70s. Name one guy who killed 40 women in the 70s. I'll wait. <laughs> His job is you been there, so done that. At thank God my parents died, 1954 to present. <laughs> This is the other reason Coruscant is everyone on here is 70 years That's old. That's awesome. Uh, one of his questions that has no answers is, 1,800 views but only 10 comments? Quit being a pansy and start answering. Yes. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. This is how I feel when people comment but don't like on a post as well. It's insulting. Slam that button. <laughs> what, you're, you're holding on to those? You're going to use that later? Hit the button. Uh, he says more of his questions. Why are there? Ha why, sorry, where are the happy people? 
All I see is oh. gloom and doom in here. Bad, sick, beat up dogs and homeless people. Why does it have to be that way? Are they all trolls? In Quora? Yeah. Quora's all homeless people? And then he says, they say the perfect wife is deaf, blind, mute, and has no legs. Is that <laughs> true? I don't think that's true. Bobby! <laughs> Bobby! Don't say that. Why would she have no legs? And that has one answer. Who someone is, has a very long answer saying it's not true. Hello, Bobby. I disagree. <laughs> That's literally like what it is. I think that uh, women should be able to see and hear. That's a crazy take. Yeah. <laughs> Controversial. This, this what do you think, YouTube? Guinevere, she wrote, as I have never actually heard someone say that, I don't know the context for the statement, but my opinion is that in a literal sense, no, the perfect wife is not, wife is not deaf, blind, mute, and has no legs. <laughs> What this statement seems to be describing, if not in a literal sense, is a person who is unable to stand up for themselves, contribute to the conversation, or even hear it, and is completely submissive to the person they are married to. Well, I this mean, they're, they just, they can't do anything. They the have medical no eyes bills. or ears. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your whole life is going to be based around taking care of yeah. this wife now. Sorry, there is one other answer, and I feel compelled to read it. George Humphrey says, no, because you left out the most important part, a warm, fat, moist, tight pussy. So oh. thank you from that, George Humphreys. That's... That's per. I I don't like it. <laughs> That's all you. I want to say is I don't like it. That's the other side of Quora. It's just insane people. Have you seen um with AI now or like uh, you know the black or Chinese guy? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now for AI for women, it's either uh here's what you'd look like pregnant or dismembered. Because <laughs> 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 uh, I've gotten um uh uh paraplegic or whatever. Or, oh yeah. This is a thing. I, so I'm on Facebook still for some insane reason. AI is so and helpful. I don't follow anything. I just have like a page where I just repost. My tweets, because I, you know, whatever they give me ten dollars a month or whatever, it's and pretty, um, it's a good racket. Facebook keeps showing me AI generated limbless women. Yeah, I don't understand what it is. It's, it, I think it's like the most specific fetish that there's nothing out there for it. So I think weird. so. They it's always their we birthday. Actually, we did cover this on the podcast, did we? like in one of our first episodes, I believe. It's bizarre, limbless women. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, it's it. um, it's a fetish. Yes, it's a very weird. It's like I think it's from like anime or something. Uh, or you know, it's so, so it's weird. Alex's world. <laughs> it's so weird about it is I feel like limbs are so sexy. <laughs> yeah, the potential they let you move around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and grasp. <laughs> so no, weird. Yeah, but um, I love limbs. I love them. I They're some of my favorite them. parts of women. <laughs> I mean, I don't want you to have too many. Sure, but yeah. I like the correct amount. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, if you're missing some, I, the good, that's fine for you. Yeah, there no, hey, that's okay. There's this guy that no used judgment. to um, pay me to um, basically role play answer questions to him as if I was a conjoined twin. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's a good job if you can get it. Yeah, it was Oh, it was pretty chill. <laughs> or, and he was like, okay, your conjoined twin is named Reagan. I was like, I think my mom would have put a little more work into yeah. it if Reagan and Megan. And he was like, Okay, so you share a top half, same pussy. What do you do if a guy wants to marry you and not her? And I was like, I guess we talk it out. Yeah, I gotta I ask not, Reagan. I did, not give, <laughs> I did not give him like the sexy answers that I think he wanted. Wow. Me. What do you think, Reagan? Yeah, he was. We'll just... both marry him. <laughs> you kind of have to. Yeah. Yeah. That's just a fact. Being conjoined twin, conjoined twins. If you have a whole. Usually it's like two whole bodies, right? Or like most of a whole body. There's some that's like yeah. it's two heads. If you just have a second head, I don't think that's like a second person though, is it? It, yeah, is. it is. It is. I mean, they got their own brain. They don't have a different body. Yeah, but they're, they have a whole personality. I guess I wouldn't know. How dare you say that to Reagan? I guess. <laughs> yeah, whoa, chill. Reagan, I'm so, and for this part of the episode using AI, we have added <laughs> Reagan. <laughs> Be sure to go to youtube.com slash quarators to see Reagan live. That's a crazy fetish. Yeah, it's really nuts. It's really, um, you know, that's the people you find on Tumblr when it's you're 14. Like, how, how, you're never going to find that. No, but now with AI. But now that's with true. AI. Yeah. It, they're doing such important work over there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Mid Journey. What question was this? Uh, the human shield. Oh, the human shield. How turned into limbs. Yeah, yeah. I know we found Bobby, who is a weird. Uh, the, he has that fetish, I guess. Yeah, you got to get a conjoined twin. He's messaging fourteen. Well, that would be his Megan. nightmare because that's too many limbs. Oh, yeah. so he oh, wants right. the opposite. He wants uh, the opposite of a conjoined twin. Oh, right. I meant it's a permanent human shield. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is on. Uh, no, this isn't core romance. This no, this is, is our last forbidden knowledge. I want my mom's mouth. She has a pretty mouth. What should I do? Now, why would a witch huh. steal a mouth? Like, do you think she wants it like uh, as her mouth? 
I guess so. I want my mom's mouth. <laughs> I want my mom's mouth. This is all of the context we're going to get. She <laughs> has a pretty mouth. Sure. What should I do? L- lip fillers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess you could do up your own mouth. Yeah. This is someone named Jamie Eugene. And this so, is their only question. Only question. Jamie's only kind of a gender neutral name. Yeah, doesn't help with that. It could aspect. be anyone in this room. This, guy might- <laughs> <laughs> this is from like a week ago, too. How um, insane would it be if I had an alternate Quora account that I fed us questions <laughs> on? Uh, we're running out of battery over here. You're, that- you're good. No, I'll get it. <laughs> right. Keep keep podcasting. <laughs> Um, there's a bunch of answers on it. One person says, learn to love your own body and accept for you f- yourself for who you are. You're a unique individual who is a combination of genetics. I'm sure your mom loves you just as you are too. I say cut her mouth off. Yeah, cut her mouth off. Put it on a little slab. Have it yeah. talk to you. <laughs> Get like one of those singing fish, but for your mom's face. That would be awesome. <laughs> she tells you to do the dishes. That's the only mom thing I can think of. <laughs> Moms are always telling people to do the dishes. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. For the charger. The scary implication is that this is a man and it's a sexual question. Yeah, it that is. It does scary. appeal like, and then there is a big erotic writing community on here, but I am just That's very true. interested in how would a witch steal a mouth? By erotic writing community, are they role playing through questions? Or so the they... questions will be like, my sister <laughs> says that we have to do it. Should I? Yeah, and then people are like, like good question. Here's what I would do. And then they write like 5,000 words. Sure. My dad is forcing me to pee my pants. Yeah. Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay is my favorite way to end that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's a lot of it. Oh, yeah. See, the related question. Do moms ever let their son pee in their mouth? Huh. No, they don't. Not in my experience. On purpose? <laughs> I guess, like, to get out of danger. Yeah. I guess, yeah. like, if you were falling. Sure. So if you were in a car and you're a baby. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, like, you're, like, on top of the car and the car starts falling over a cliff and the mom's right on the side of the car and she okay. has to pick you up but you're so scared you're peeing. Okay. And then her mouth is like, ah! And then, like. That's not wetting you, though. That's just, it happens. Oh, it just happened. That's a good point. That's so the answer is criticism. no. The answer is no. You were, we were right the first time. As a kid, I grew up in my dad's mouth. Sure. <laughs> my sister How did that. How does that happen? He was holding me upside down, and then I just threw up in his, on his face. It's almost just like this car scenario. Yeah. <laughs> my sister did the exact same thing to my dad as a baby. Yeah. That's disgusting. Girls be doing that. Girls love to throw up. No one here has babies, and it's a good policy, throw up wise. <laughs> uh, do we read one more question? Yeah. This is the core romance one. Thank you. So hit Sorry that. for jumping the gun here. Objection! Wrong one. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. Core romance. <laughs> this is our final question. Uh, back to the, the theme of the episode for a second. If a married woman sleeps with a demon, is it adultery? Yo. I feel like it's even more adultery. I think it's even worse. More, yeah. Double adultery. Well, is she's it betraying God? <laughs> You're cheating on two men. Something adults do. <laughs> Isn't there someone you forgot to ask? Yeah, it's a sure. classic question. My husband. Yeah. I consent. <laughs> the demon consents. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Jesus and your husband, their arms crossed. Damn it. We're getting edged out here. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, um, you know, back to the succubus thing we were talking about before, uh-huh. I kind of feel like it almost folds into a different category because usually a demon is not having a loving relationship with you and it's kind of abusive. If that's the case, then it's not adultery. And that's the bottom line. I feel like demon sex would be like tantric. Yes. I feel like a demon doesn't just have like a penis. Oh, sure. yeah. That actually flies in the face of a lot of art I've seen. <laughs> oh. of, of demon penises <laughs> yeah. that you've Googled. They're actually sometimes all penis, but... Uh, oh. oh, really? Yeah. That's scary. It is scary, isn't it? The scariest thing I can big, think of is a big penis. Big, scary <laughs> penis. And it's coming at you. If it's like the size of a person yeah. and it just has like little mm. arms. Ah. Would that feel good or bad for him? For, for for the penis monster? Yeah, if you're just a big penis and you go through the subway turnstile, sure, it's like yeah, you get yeah. jerked off. Oh. <laughs> well, that's the thing about the penis is like it, it requires a specific motion. If you're just like flicking the sides right. as you're going through a turnstile, I think you're good. 
As long as I you're imagine. not like getting shaken up all the time. Wait, does it feel good to get flicked? <laughs> it, I, oh no! I, I, <laughs> there can be extreme flick play. I think I've said this on this podcast, but when I was a, a high, freshman in high school, I remember this. I had a friend who said that he started jerking off and weren't, and he does it DJ style. Yes. Like this. this has right. come up <laughs> several times. <laughs> I always think about it. We're back on DJ style. <laughs> Taylor, <laughs> shout out. I have a friend who um, he ruined all the nerve endings in his penis oh. by proning on the mattress he would just rub against the mattress uh, he put yeah, all of his yeah, body yeah, weight yeah. on his penis and it ruined his life oh and my ex-boyfriend in high school he got half his dick cut off by um he was lifting weights and the plate fell on his penis wow. oh and, my god and then he passed out and i know this is true because he was uncircumcised before wow. and um so then after i wasn't dating him when this happened i was this dating is him after so I scary god. he so he was lifting weights it caught on his pants and he passed out and he woke up in the hospital and they were like we tried to save as much of your penis as possible and it was like like thumb sized afterwards, and it was mostly the head because they had to salvage. That's it. What a so funny! It situation. ruined his life. Waking yeah, up in wow. a hospital and hearing that is like the worst sketch yes. comedy joke. <laughs> yeah, we you, tried to save as much as your your, your penis. huge penis. <laughs> Apparently, it was huge before. Like, wow. my girlfriends had seen it before. I was wow. about to say you can really say whatever you want after something that tragic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shout oh, out, man. Kellen. Yeah, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, are we trying to not have him find the story? But yeah, uh, uh, we, we we have his name and address pulled up on Quora. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah I'm always that afraid sucks. of dropping the weight on my toe, but this sure. would be worse. Yeah. yeah. I dropped does that a, happen? I dropped a metal <laughs> base plate on my toe at work uh, like last year, and it, it was so unfortunate because five minutes earlier I said, oh, I would do anything to get sent home right now. <laughs> and then I actually dropped it on my toe. That is Aww. brujeria. Yeah, that was, I deserved that. I don't care who you are. <laughs> Jeremy, what are the comment sections saying on this? Uh, demon unless question? the demon is her husband and assuming sleeps with means sex, yes, that would count as adultery according to religious texts. According to religious So if you're texts. married to a demon, that's fine. Citation needed. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and need to see the gospel, please. Don Drosh says, not really. Many women want rough sex and demons can be rough. <laughs> My wife goes that to a dom dungeon. the same. He says, my wife goes to a dom dungeon to be hanged naked and tortured. Oh, all right. Oh. Maybe. So they have all right. A... I am learning today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Don, who lives in Dallas. Yeah. yeah if you'd like oh, to torture I know the dungeon Don's he's talking wife. About really? That. Yes. This guy at my job was like, yeah, I went to this crazy sex dungeon the other day. And he was, uh, they were cutting this girl up and she was bleeding in front of all of us. Um, and he was just, it was 9 a.m. at work. <laughs> and we were like, cool, cool. That's the illest. The Yelp reviews for that place are crazy. <laughs> or they're just like, Weird. it's dirty in here. What's it called? <laughs> my cut remember. got infected. Uh, I'm looking up if Dallas, you like Dallas sex, sex dungeon. 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 Sorry, so, Alex. This is on your computer. That's fine. The most fun thing to do is uh, <laughs> when you're driving through Texas is to go on Yelp and look at the closest strip clubs. Um, like in the middle of fucking nowhere. The reviews are like, a lot of fat Mexicans here. Oh my <laughs> it's God. so crazy. Um, it's the DFW Dungeon? It's probably... DFW. What is DFW saying for? About Dallas, it. Fort Worth, or David Foster Wallace. Yeah, oh, one of the, the David Foster Wallace sex dungeon. Yes. He would they're, love that. You have to wear a bandana, but nothing else. <laughs> Their website is very bad. It's very, yeah. I'm trying to find their, their reviews. Will you sexually consider the lobster? <laughs> <laughs> DFW Dungeon. A supposedly sexy thing I'll never do again. <laughs> In this um, room, we do tennis play. <laughs> <laughs> I've I, David Foster Wallace references. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have no more. I like that you likely know about this place that this guy sends his wife to there's not many sex dungeons in dallas this one has pretty That's good reviews shame. Yeah, if you want to go to the dfw dungeon in dallas it's at one 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 five two eight harry hines boulevard harry hines is where all the prostitutes are oh. my job used to be on that street unrelated that but, makes sense <laughs> yeah yeah harry hines is very sketchy it's kind of pretend can join twins boulevard isn't it <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl with like a big sign that says, I will pretend to be a <laughs> joint twin. Will pretend there are two of me. My tantric sex prostitute. <laughs> it has mostly good reviews. 4.8 out of 5 is an amazing Google review. Wow. Most people are saying very clean. Furniture is clean. Bathrooms are clean. Security they cut guards. me and it doesn't get infected. <laughs> Maybe I was on the sex theater wow. website. You it was come also out, on Harry Friendly Hines. staff. Come out the box just lambasting you- DFW Dungeon. It's it- so clean in there. <laughs> Friendly staff, is that five stars for a sex dungeon? I you want them important. to be friendly? I want them to be mean to me. Yeah, right? Well, but they can be appropriately mean to you. Sure. 
Um, I think uh, Medieval Times is also on Harry Hines Boulevard. Oh, um, so yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, accidentally yeah. going to um, yeah. Medieval Times, you think it's the sex times? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna joust. Oh, honey, <laughs> <laughs> the king is giving his thumbs down. <laughs> I was in um, Manhattan yesterday and I saw this dance studio that was next to a strip club and it just felt very like, well, if you didn't, if you're not good enough, I guess, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's you can so go to the Flash here. Dancers. Um, I, anyway, that guy, yeah, that's those are all the answers, I think, on that question. That's mm -hmm. fair enough. Uh, actually, there's a few more. This guy says demons do not exist. Boring. Boo. Bro, wrong. wrong. Shut up. Shut up. Be a man. <laughs> that's enough. Nosy demons asking stupid questions are worse. Someone says it's worse than adultery. It sounds like there's a story there. Yeah. Anyway, those are really all the answers. All right, I think we covered it. <laughs> I think we're ready to wrap up here. And as we remember, our question is, are love spells rape? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. And we will be talking about that with the hosts of Talking Simpsons podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a really weird... <laughs> We'll just you apologize up front <laughs> and say this is not our idea. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? Sorry, this is a stand-up bit the last go guest was working out. <laughs> this, is, this is just a question I wanted to ask you two specifically. Our stand-up. <laughs> our love spells, Ray. You put the spell on the woman. She has a choose. She has a choose. There's no consent. <laughs> there's no consent and there's big hearts in her eyes. I'm the heart being in the eyes. Yeah, she floated in the air to my to my. Oh, Wopped, you know, get back on the you. ground. <laughs> uh, can't wait for that. That's going to be great. Well, that's going to be it for us this week on Quarators. What a week. What a Quora. Megan, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks Where can our listeners me. find you at home and abroad? Uh, my address is no. <laughs> uh, Megan Bitchell on everything. Megan Itchell on TikTok, or Meg Itchell because I don't let you say bitch on TikTok. So. <laughs> that's rude. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, just Megan Bitchell. I'll be around. I'm and you're Megan city. Bitchell on Quora. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> be sure to send your Quoras to Megan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you are looking for more of our show, we have bonus episodes every Thursday where we go on other websites. Will we read this entire ebook? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we, we will. It. It's kind of hard finding things. Uh, <laughs> and that's patreon.com slash quarators. And until next time, question everything. Beautiful. <laughs>